Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. Over in the beer room, obviously. Um, today's beer review is this one. Uh, from Pentridge Brewing, based in Derbyshire. Uh, in a place called Pentridge, I presume. Um, this, is, <laughs> this is Crimes in Green. Eh? I like green, actually, so let's have less of the crimes. But yeah, it's double IPA, 8.5%. I got this from Adventure Beer, from Low Cost Beer. Bloody hell. Um, I got this from Low Cost Beer. I don't start again, do I? I got it from Low Cost Beer. Uh, draft beer in a bottle, as you can see. So let's give it a pour. Um, so it's keg beer, bottled up, three different sizes, 330, 500, and one litre. It was bottled up literally close to a week, well, just under a week ago now. So um with double rpas i won't leave it too long to drink it with stouts and that and belgian beers and ciders you've got loads and loads of time so there we go there's the pour oh ooh, that's got some poke to it so let me just go back. Just finished an 11 hour shift, so all good fun. Got big pennies in, haven't you? You know. So here we go. It says here Crimes in Green. A super hopper double IPA patch full of Zaka, Citra, Mosaic, and Galaxy hops. For me, citrusy and tropical. A touch of vanilla coming in there, to be fair. Real punchy flavour for beer, this is. It's going to be very interesting. And it's drank out of a Little Brewing Company glass. And Little Brewing, they've just gone into the craft beer market as well. You know, being Derbyshire as well. And uh, hopefully one day Little Brewing and Pentridge will do a bit of a collab together. You know, Pentridge have got a big name now across the UK. Um, certainly for me, one of Derbyshire's top craft beer breweries but Derbyshire's got a good good range of craft beer breweries technically Bang the Elephant is actually in Derbyshire although <laughs> I always say they're in Nottingham because they've got an NG postcode but you've got Alter Ego you've got Pentridge you've got Formbridge you've got Buxton uh little brewing company um there's some good breweries in Derbyshire you know as much as I'm a Nottingham Forest fan and they, and they always take the mick out of Derby um especially at the moment being in the first division but uh it always swings around about, isn't it? Most Forest fans would like to see Derby back in the division we're in, so we can give them a thumping, um, like we have been doing. But hey ho, you know, it is what it is. It's going to be, well, depending on if Derby go up this year, and depending what happens with Forest this year, you know, it's going to be. If Forest get relegated and Derby go up next year, they'll be playing each other's ball. It could be the fact that if Derby don't go up and Forest stay where they are, it could be more years. You, you never know, do you? In the gun skin of things. Um, second of the Pentridge beers that I've got. I've got another two from Pentridge to review, actually. A smoked... To, to apologise there. Slight bit of wind came out at the same time. Uh... A smoked porter from Pentridge and um, a sour from Pentridge. So quite a few Pentridge beers over at Low Cost Beer. Oh, and because it's in the shed, it's at keg temperature already. Well, the temperature's going up next few days. And about bloody time too. Got to work this morning absolutely freezing i mean to do the bloody windscreen on your car does anybody else get pissed off for doing your windscreen absolutely pisses me off getting up walking out and it's like oh god's sakes so what i normally do now is my son he, he likes cola drinks a lot of it uh, and uh i'll get a two litre empty bottle of water and i'll just go out to cold water round it round it once turn the end well turn the engine on first round it Give it once over the windscreen and put the windscreen wipers on 
and it starts to then just keep doing it and keep doing it. And eventually that two litre bottle, unless it's a really severely cold day, uh, clears the windscreen bloody quick and you're not going to crack your windscreen. I've seen people pour hot water on the windscreen and, and I'm looking at them like, ooh, that's a good way of, um, that's a good way of uh, killing your windscreen one day. Um, is what it is, I suppose. So these guys come into Nottingham Beer, Craft Beer Festival in June, a week before my birthday. I've been thinking about that and I thought, when the bloody hell am I going to do a... Just thinking about the, the up and coming months, about doing some sort of um, stag do. And, uh, and a bit of a stag do meet up. Because, do you know something? Uh, for one... I don't do any of that shit where people get tied to lampposts because one, I'd kill them afterwards. Um, you know, I certainly wouldn't be happy. But uh, I do, you know, meeting up with people from the community um, for a bit of a stag do somewhere, obviously in Nottingham. The lucky thing about Nottingham is we've got some absolutely amazing craft beer pubs. And uh, we were on about last night about, we hadn't sorted out invites yet. So we've not sorted invites out. I've not got a best man. Although do I really need a best man for a wedding vow? Mignon. Uh, I don't know if I do. And to be honest, it's something, you know, I don't ever want to be a best man ever again. Because it is an awful fucking um, job. Stressed out your face. Unless you're one of these who can talk shit. And uh, I'm alright talking to the camera. <laughs> talking in front of 30 people in front of me. Whole different ball game. Um, unless I've had a drink. Then. And even then, you know. Although this times, You'd think after five years nearly. Nearly five years of doing the Raggies beer reviews. You, I'm getting braver. The braveness is coming. I'm... Um, I am getting braver. There was a time where I wouldn't go out on my own. And even now, fucking hell, I'm going into town boozing on my own. And I'm actually going into pubs on my own, getting beer and just sitting there doing a bloody review and like sod anybody else around me. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's strange how, um, and I know for a lot of people that, yeah, and. But you know, sometimes you know, you know when you've shrank uh, your out, your personality, and it's shrank in, and it, and it's squeezed in, and going out the doors a step, a big step. Uh, going for a job interview is a massive step. Catching the bus on your own into town is a massive step. Then doing these things, you know, uh, is a big thing. It's like me, yeah, last week I went to Hucknall Beer Festival and uh, wife dropped me off. I walked over to the station hotel, went in the pub, sat outside, did two reviews there, then went to another pub, uh, did two reviews there, then went to the beer festival and then at the beer festival I stood outside for half an hour and I thought, oh, sod this, I'm fucking freezing. Um, <laughs> and I went in and I'm all right in front of people I know. But on my own, it's it's slightly different kettle of fish. But I'm getting braver and braver and braver. Um, and <laughs> the world of beer reviews has has helped me uh, rediscover that person who was always there and it is always there. But re help me rediscover it. Just just to show you, you know, sometimes. Um, our little journeys in life, little things to help us on that journey. Anyway, and <laughs> whatever you say about it, beer is predominantly the reason for my, why my journey is progressing. Why I've gone from being a, a gardener, an award-winning gardener, but a gardener, and starting to do this beer review thing. Um, and obviously, you know, probably being a right shite at first, 
probably shite now, but you know. Um, but it, you know, uh, mentioning breweries, a lot of breweries don't take no notice. You know, a lot of breweries, you'll never get a like or anything off them. You know, don't even acknowledge you there. But there's the odd ones that do and are really grateful. And for them breweries, you know, whenever I see their beers, they're the first beers I go to. And I think to myself, because you, you know, uh, and some breweries even, some breweries, I'll post a beer review and it's already up on their website, on their website or Facebook or whatever, before I've even shared it on, on my social media, bar YouTube being the platform. So, you know, it is amazing in that respect. Um, so, tonight's Valentine's night. So I've done an 11 hour shift, come home and I've gone outside to the shed to do a beer with him. Good one, aren't I? <laughs> um, I'm on the way into work this morning. I'm driving over to Newark and I'm, and I'm sitting in the van and then all of a sudden it comes on. It's Valentine's Day and I'm like, oh shit. I've left the card upstairs, I forgot to write it out. Comes eight o'clock, rings the, rings, the, rings the wife. Ring, rings the wife. Fucking R's and W's. Uh, rings the wife and says, uh, how's your knee? And then we got on and says, uh, well, I forgot. <laughs> I'm driving over and I forgot to write your card. I says, I did the same. So we're all good. And her card's witty as hell. My card's a bit boring, to be fair. But um, I bought mine late on. Still funny in a certain way, but it's not as witty as my wife. So she really put thought into it, bless her. So really enjoying this. Um, I do like Pentridge. Um, for me, they're the neon raptor of Derbyshire. Uh, uh, their ever-changing list of styles of beers. They're very regularly updating their beers. Um, lots of different double IPAs in the mix. Sours. Not seeing too many um, collaborations. I don't know if that why that is. Uh, but I've not seen, I don't, I don't know if I've actually seen one collaboration. So maybe that's a thing where in the future, you know, um, collaborating with people like Bang the Elephant, Thornbridge, Buxton, Alter Ego, you know, um, some breweries do, some breweries don't. Um, I don't know why, you know, it's up to the brewery in question, isn't it? But uh, I, I, I do think it's a good thing to collaborate and uh, put your name out there and, uh, and and met friends as well, you know. But uh, yeah, super looking forward to seeing him come into the beer festival this year. There's been moaning for a couple of years, why aren't Pentridge there, you know? And I've been one of them that's been moaning and been poking the fires, why aren't they there? And obviously um, I don't, I'm not part of Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. Yeah, I don't even get a free bloody ticket. Um, <laughs> But, um, yeah, pay for my tickets. But, uh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm great. I'm glad that they're there. So, really enjoyed this. 8.5%. Tropical citrus. Good flavour. Super flavourful. And, yeah. For those who don't like the one-minute reviews, they're not for everyone. The one-minute reviews are for people who want straight reviews no talking the standard reviews the normal reviews of people who want personality the beer a little bit more and i'm trying to do both sides of the equation but obviously if you don't like the one minute reviews you know not you don't have to watch them really do you and if you don't like the 15 minute reviews you don't have to watch them either just watch the one minute so in that way it appeases uh, more people, I suppose. I suppose. Uh, for me, a good 4.4 .4 out of 5. Really enjoyable. Really like this brewery. It makes some great beer. And great to have it on keg. On draft. And that's it for this review. Thank you for watching. And uh, now I've all got the house and cook some dinner. Right? While the wife sits on the settee, chilling. <laughs>